Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. And this is Hey Man, what's up? Now we took a little break um, on Hey Man. Um, tell them why we took a break. Uh, oh, oh, right. I was going to say, honestly, I don't know why we took a break, but I do know why we took a break. It's because we uh, we decided to do, uh, we were going to film some some stuff, uh, make, a, make our own little project. It's called Family Tussle. Um, we are over the moon excited for you guys to see what we did. Um, and we were so excited to be able to shoot it with our family uh, and people we love and people we trust um, over five days of just, you know, stupid shit. Why do you look so much bigger than me? Because I am? Are you this much? Oh, no. There we go. I'm still, I'm still, yeah, still, but I was all slouched right, down. But I'm, just a, I'm also just a broader, I'm a broader shoulders. What? But why am I? Don't, I, make, don't make me ask mom in the other, the other room if yeah, I have but, broader but, shoulders. But, but right here's now. the deal: like I was all like this, and you're like this is what we look like. That's not what we look like. This is what we look like. But don't sit around and tell me. Sit up straight. Let me see. Oh, oh, like oh, wow. Don't touch it. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. It's just like, you pick your poison. Why? Look, but are you, do you look this bitch bigger than me in real life? Yes. You look this much wider than me in real life? I think so. I, I guess we'll ask everybody later. Not sure. Uh, here's the thing. You know what's crazy is that like, when we were filming the show, okay, in my brain, like guys, we the, the family tussle is a competition show, right? Yeah. Where he and I challenge each other. And one of the challenge competitions was those giant orbs. You know, you get in like the the, the inflatable balls. You, and I thought in my brain, okay, in my brain, I'm still 180 pounds. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, and he's still 150. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to, the orb, I'm going to run, I'm going to fucking run over this dude. No. So we get out there, and I run into him. I go, boom! And when I bounced back a little bit, I was like, oh. oh. I'm a little bigger. You're bigger than me now. Yeah, I am bigger than you now. Oh, dude, dude. I think for the first time ever. Yeah, dude, dude. Right? Yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. And the family tussle definitely showed me. By the way, guys, the, the punishments <sighs> that we made each other do... We're next level. I, we, we can't wait for you guys to see what we shot. Now, I have to tell you something. I've been waiting for an hour patiently to show you this. Wait, wait, wait hold on. What's the part? Pause, 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 pause. Yeah. Time out, time out, time yeah, out. Yeah. You can't start a conversation with you, spe like specifically you. You can't start a conversation like that. Because now my mind is running with things of what you wanted to show. What was the first? When I saw you, when I came, when, when you walked in. What did I say? I said, dude, I gotta show you something. Yeah, and I kept asking questions, and he said, you're just gonna have to wait and see it. I don't like that game. Not with him, I don't like that game. I wanna pro it, 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 the, I don't think it's gross. I think it's funny. It's gross! There's no doubt it's gross. Like, to other people, it's definitely but, gonna be gross. But the funny... Look, man. To me, it over to me, something is in the category of gross if, it, is if it's overwhelmingly grosser than it is anything else. Yeah, right. But if something is... And if it's grosser than it is funny, it's gross. Right. If it's funnier than it is gross, it's funny. But it's still gross. Yes, but this is... But, okay, Beth, can... Beth, Beth. <sighs> is this funnier than it is gross? It's funnier than it is gross. Okay. Can we get it over with then, please? It's okay. gross, but it makes it so funny because it's so your it's dad. True. It's like, okay, so the other night, I'm in L.A., Wednesday night, and, um, dude... Sam Tripoli asked me to do a show, his comedy chaos show at the, at the comedy store. Oh, and yeah, that was a stacked line. Bang. Holy crap. Banger line. There was a lot of good people in there. And I'm telling a couple stories right now, dude, that I'm just going to tell you. And I'm not a braggadocious dude that are just thumping killers. Thumping fucking killers. Do I know the ones you're talking about? Maybe. And I, I have one right now of yours that I think is just absolutely Which one is it? Thumping. It's the... Uh, the dance one? Yeah. Just that's good. that one just okay. bangs everywhere you go. So, awesome. you ready for this? No. So, I'm backstage in ABX, you know, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Farmer and the Felon. Those those guys, they are one of the sponsors for Sam's show. So, when you go back, you get free weed. And I know Jeremy there, he's my buddy. And right. uh, he, he's a dude who is part owner of Absolute Extracts and a great guy. And guys, if you're looking, guys, 
for the best edible in the world. I'm and I'm and I'm not paid by them. I'm not sponsored by them. I would agree though. The absolute extract gel pill, best anywhere from five milligrams to two hundred. It giddy up. Are it's so good. Consistent, and they take you straight to the fucking moon. Oh, like like thirty minutes, forty five tops. Top. Like if it doesn't hit you within two hours, don't take another one though. I did that once, and I was it's a bad idea. In a bad shape that later that night. Anyways, continue. So, I Jeremy's there. He's like, "Hey man," because he knows I like mushrooms. Yeah. And he's like, "Hey, I was telling talking to him about the penis envy mushrooms that I like. Okay. They're like the ones that I got, right? I like the albino ones. Yeah." Oh, and so, like the blue tech to them. The, the short and stubby ones. Yeah, the penis envy is short and stubby. Are they? Yeah. Oh, those ones. And so I say to him, like, I love those. He goes, yeah, I like those too. He goes, I actually made these caramels that are from Ghost, the, the Ghost brand, Ghost Ghost Shrooms. I go, oh, I go, oh, yeah, I'll try that. And he said, um, I go, I'm only going to eat half, though, because i got to go on stage. And um, he was like, your tolerance is pretty high. I go, yeah, my tolerance is real high. And not only that, guys, like, I can behave like a normal human on drugs. Disagree. Do you know what I mean? If I have to. If I'm at my house, I don't have to. But take me out in public. I can behave like a complete, any drug, except for Xanax. I can't control my kind of wobbly head. Uh, for me, Xanax. I can't really tell if I am. I'm a very functional high. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty high right now. I'm a very functional high, right? So... I'm like, I'll be fine. Yo, this edible hit me harder. Well, this was a mushroom edible. Mushroom edible. Correct, okay. Harder than I could have imagined. And I was high. And I don't go on... Look, man, I go on stage, I'll be stoned, and I'm fine. I'm, but I don't go on stage high on mushrooms. I I, I have. You have a couple times, and those shows go... Oh, really? It's just hard for me to stay on track in my stories. Right. Huh? So, I, I'm i backstage with Sammy, and it's getting up to that point where it's time to go on stage. But you know when shrooms hit you, for me anyways, I got to poop. I was just going to say, you had to go on stage at the time you had to poop. So I turned it and I go, fuck, dude, I got to shit so bad. And he's just go to the bathroom. And I was like, I don't want to shit in the green room, man. This is like a bad form. He goes, dude, it's your only shot. And I knew it was a it was a an emergency. Yeah, the shroom poop is always an emergency. And it's not and it's not like a guys, it's not like a tidy poop. It's it a, is a Niagara Falls poop. It's unfortunate. That is that's the it's only nice. way I'm gonna describe it. Floodgates open, yeah. I clean it up, I perform, I do a set of the comedy star. Good, great set. I drive I go over to the laugh factory. I do a set there. I'm talking to my friends, I've taken taking pictures of people all night. Okay. Oh, no. So, today, oh. today. Now, I came straight from here. Straight from there to here. Right? Yep. So, today, I'm trying to plan out what I'm going to wear. I'm so scared. What I'm going to wear to the show tonight. And I'm like, well, I love these jeans. No. These are the jeans that I wore. <laughs> It must have been on the wipe. I must have hit the uh, the toilet paper. But look at that, dude. That is not a small piece of that shit. That is legit like. poop. But it's it was legit. legit. <laughs> <laughs> I, would like yeah. call, I would like to call it legit shit, dude. Yeah. So like, My husband. I I was talking to my like, father. I like. was talking to people all night. I had <laughs> shit on my pants both sets. Yo, nobody noticed. I, if, by the way, if you were at one of those shows and you saw it and didn't say anything and smelled it, I am so far. I'm so, listen. First of all, not sure how I didn't smell it, except I can just say that's I was what, so fucked up. That's what I'm saying. Like it would have. Like for me, if I had shit like that, like it would have smelled like I would have just constantly farting. Like, no, like it would have smelled like. Now let me just, let me just say. I know some people are gonna be like, "Are you sure it's shit?" You know why? I know damn well he smelled it. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent without even asking questions, I know he smelled it. Because when I looked at it, I was like, that looks like shit, but there's no way it's shit. The only way to find out? So I was like, did I sit in chocolate? 
Not unless that chocolate smells a lot like, like shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, only one way to find out if it's shit or chocolate, you gotta smell it. I walked around with poo-poo on my pants. Wait, did you pack the poo-poo pants in your bag? Yeah. Dude, I came straight from va- from LA. Does anything yeah. else have poo-poo on it? No, luckily I folded it up. But my real question is, check. how did I fold it initially? And still not notice there was shit on it. That's not a really good question. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever, ever, fat, like, come in and been like, is that shit? Can I tell you while you're thinking about this? Let me tell you. Something. Wait, is that shit for what? Have you ever co- have you ever found poop on your on your on yourself or your clothes? Or we had a kid who came to school once, um, in elementary school. He had slipped in dog shit, and uh, he had it on his leg, and and um, just came to school, and so he developed an un- unfortunate nickname. Yeah, shit stick. For a long time. Oh, it's a good nickname. Right. Yeah, dude. Well played, brother. Yeah, when, when I see him now, I'm like, shit stick. He's like, I got kids. I'm like, do they know your nickname? They should. Yeah. They should know your Yo, nickname. Yo, dude. They should definitely know your nickname, shit I, stick. So I went to high school with a guy who, who <sighs> ready for this? Did I ever tell you the Iceman story? The what story? I no, no, no. Re, re, say it again. I don't know if I even heard that. The Iceman story. No. I thought that's what I heard. That sounds like a meth dealer. I went to high school with a kid, and I grew up with a kid who I met his kids once and his kids were like oh man you get stories about the Iceman I go who's the Iceman and they're like my dad my dad's nickname in high school is the Iceman he said you gave it to him I'm like so he gave himself a nickname retroactively that he told his kids and I called him the Iceman because he had ice in his veins when he played basketball oh so you just came up with a really good story hey by the way he wasn't even on the basketball team he was probably so so I called him over and he comes over. He's like, Hey, I'm like, Hey, and I go, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting ready to tell your son about why I, I named you Iceman. And you can see the look on his face. Like, don't fuck this up for me. How old was the kid? 12. It's about time you should break his heart. Nah. Yeah. Like, you should ruin it for him. Nah. You're definitely at 12. Uh, if he doesn't believe in Santa Claus anymore and then we're past that. Yeah, but you want him to believe in his dad. There's you no still believe in his dad. Ah, that's a, that's bad advice. Why would you do that? You're unnecessarily fucking with a twelve year old. You're not fucking. He's unnecessarily lying to his kid nah, his entire life. You're not fucking with the guy. The guy, it, but you're fucking with that kid in his relationship with his dad. Bring the hammer down, or at least make him tell his kid. Nah, what's the point? Because you're already caught him, so it's funny. But the fun part is to make him squirm. The fun part isn't to ruin the guy's life. It's not ruining his life. It fucks his relationship with his son. Because of a nickname? It goes deeper than that. You are now pulling a thread of honesty. Should have been honest from the start. Uh, (laughs) I I completely disagree. But have you, but, but like things like that, have you ever found like. Even if it was dog poop or we're like, damn it. The re- most recently, I stepped I stepped in. Milo doesn't like to shit when we go take him out on the dog walk. By the way, with Milo's my dog. Yeah. He likes to shit in the house. So sometimes I'll just wake up and I'll walk down our Are they tiny little yeah they're like little pebbles. But he walks when he shits. So he'll start here, and then there's like three more over here, and then maybe like one little dribble over here, and it's like. You can do like little landmines. And so every now and then also, sometimes he'll just get up off the bed in the middle of the night, walk out into the into the hallway, away from the pee pads, pee in the middle of the hallway, and then just come back to bed. And sometimes I don't know it, and so when I'm walking in the dark at 6 a.m. when I go to work, I step and pee barefoot. Uh, so now every time before I go to the hallway, I flick that light on in my hallway, so I'm like, is there any shit I should be aware of? But I stepped in his shit right before I went to work. Um... Is like he, this past week, actually. Is he leaving those as like breadcrumbs to remind himself how to get to and fro? Why? Because he has dementia? Yeah, maybe he's just like, I better fucking leave these little shit crumbs. I'm, so glad, he's not that point, I'm glad he's not at that point of dementia where he's like, ooh, is that a piece of candy? And then tries to eat one and then every time realizes it's not a piece of candy. You know what? I'm so glad Indiana, when, 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 um, Milo goes, is he interested in eating other dogs' poop? Because some dogs, like Rocky used to. Milo's not interested in anything that has to do with other dogs. Zero. He when he sees another dog doesn't give a shit. 
No yeah. shit. Walks in, well, it's weird, because like, most dogs, 98% of dogs will walk by and he's just like, eh, fuck you. And they'll just like, doesn't even look at them. Or like, if they come up to him, he's scared and he'll back away. But every now and then, like I've seen it maybe happen in five dogs, where he just, he sees them and he's like, yo, who the, who the fuck are you? And he'll just go, ape shit, and just go ballistic, and just start going nuts. And then we'll walk away from him, and it happens for about five seconds, and then it ha- like nothing ever happens. So you, Jacob has a tiny little dog who looks like a little chihuahua. Chucky chihuahua, where are you going? I was going to make a phone call. I'll be back. Bye, Bye guys. I like listening to you guys. I love you. Love you. Um, yeah. Dude, that little meatball. I tried to kill you, I heard. He can... Uh, he's, he's, uh... Yeah. yeah, not, uh, not friendly. I mean, friendly, but like, you know, in moderation. I'm not nervous though. Like I don't have any. I'll wait till he actually bites you. You get nervous. I won't. He'll never bite me. I'm just gonna let him bite. A hundred percent, that dog will never bite me. He will never get close enough to any of my body parts to I, bite. I yeeted him the other day. He came on my foot and I put my foot up and he tried to bite the bottom of my foot. I just went, "Dick." Yeah, dude. Listen, man. I, I you know. People seem to be okay with letting, keeping their little dogs off a leash because he's little, you know, he's always, little dogs off a leash and they come charging up to you, they're like, he's little, so sorry, he's little. Yeah, guess what, when your little dog charges up to, not the person, but the dog, who isn't friendly with other dogs, and then, you know, your dog ends up everywhere. My thing, is, my thing is this. Right? Leash your dog, no matter where you are. My thing is this, is that like. Especially if you're in public. Please. It, even if I have a big dog, which I do. What you do. And we have. And people are like, you know, that little dog's out the leash. And he runs up to my dog barking and snarling. Here's what you have to know. If it's between my dog getting bit, me getting bit, or, or your, your dog, dog getting bit, bit, you're fucked. Yeah, because guess what? Two out of those three options don't favor you. Yo, here's the deal, man. Even if it's a tiny little dog and I think it won't even break the skin... Hey, that's... Doesn't matter. That's not my problem. problem. I don't feel like getting bit. That's a you issue, man. That's it. It's 100% a you issue. If your dog is off the leash or your dog comes up to my dog and my dog goes to town on your dog, I'm just not putting my hand in there. I like my hand. Yo, I like my dog. Yo, I like your dog. I don't even know him. But that's your that's a you that's a you problem. Yeah, I'm so sorry. The I know the little dog owners who think it's cool that their dog's little so they can let him off the leash. Yeah, he's either gonna get bit or he's going to. I'm gonna see how far I, I can go. kick it. Yeah. Or it's something worse than bit is gonna happen. We've seen it happen before. Videos all over the internet. I feel terrible. Not, not gonna lie, my best friend Jake when he moved to Australia and Riley had to watch. Riley had to watch Shia oh, well, for like eight months. Shia was a little pit. Shia is a staffy pit. Yeah. She is the biggest sweetheart in the entire world with people. She's had a couple incidents with other animals. And one of those animals is not only a dog. One of them is also a pig. Oh, that's right. Remember? Okay, so Jake was well, Jake's Australian. So he's, you know, he's not like a normal U.S. guy. But so growing up, his uh, sister was like, I want I wanna, I want a pig. She liked the pig until she was not a baby pig anymore. So they had a pig for like 16 years. His name was Axel. And Shia took both of his ears. Wait, wait, wait. Do pigs live for 16 years? I thought the pig was old and large. I, I love that pig. Big pig. I liked Axel a lot. He just, you come touch him and he just would, you just go, Wee! and he would be like, because he just didn't know who was there. Cause yeah. He was so old and then just only had holes for ears. So he just didn't know what was going on. The dog ate the ears? Off of him while he was alive. He, she attacked him. But didn't kill him? No. Just eight years. Well, you know what a favorite your favorite dog treat is? Pig ears. Pig ears. That's fucked it. Oh. <laughs> your How dog the fuck just is that? Nibble the ears. Yo, if I was a no, pig. not nibble, dude. Legitimately took off the entire. I one hundred percent. If I was a pig, would have walked inside like. Look at this. What? Look at what he did to me. Well, uh, no one was home, and it happened inside. And so when Jake mm. came home, that's a bloody mess. Shia was pink, and just sitting there like, "Hi, Dad." He was like. Ooh, what has happened? Yeah. Shia, somebody also broke into the house once, and Shia scared him so bad that he locked himself in the bathroom long enough for Jake and the cops to get there, and he was like, take me away, I'm trying not to die from this dog. Yo, Shia's yo. a legitimate, okay, wait, hold on, this is the worst story about her. And this relates to keeping your dog on a leash and making sure you're monitoring your dog. Riley has a pretty big backyard, she was just telling me. Yeah. And he has neighbors on all three sides. And the neighbor's little poodle snuck into... 
Riley's yard. That's a bummer. And Shia defended her property. And that dog... That's a bummer. Had a funeral today. Yeah, that's a bummer. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's everybody, like, just for the sake of your dog, everybody else's dog, but obviously they couldn't press charges because it was on their property. Like, this... It's still a bummer. It's a huge bummer. But, like, the the owners were like, yeah, I mean, it's... Or, like, like, we're even sorry, but, like, that's a bummer. And so, for everybody's safety uh, of your animals and your furry friends and the loved ones, leash your dog and know where your dog is. There's no excuse to have another dog. And if your dog does get bit, I hope you learn and don't just go, well, they should... You know what? Not let their dog bite mine. You should be strong. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was like, where is he going with this? That's it. <laughs> Just a nice, peaceful <laughs> fucking think next time. That's it. Dude, can That's I tell you something this morning? We're in Orlando this weekend. Uh, and by the way, everybody, let me just say... It's hot as shit. Hot as shit. Uh, in Orlando this weekend, they closed Holy Land. We drive by it every, uh, on the way to Disneyland every day. It's closed, right? I'm pretty sure, like, all the windows are boarded yeah, up in the Coliseum, and the sign itself is, like... The yeah, they closed the back over. We're in, we're in Orlando, which is super cool. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, we definitely want to talk to you guys about Family Tussle. Mm-hmm. Um, but, dude, can I tell you what happened today, which has never happened before? Mm. I... Ate bacon that I spit out. Your mom and I each took a bite and spit it out. Yo, this bacon straight up tasted wow. like fish. <sighs> there are certain things that, in my mind, you can't fuck up. Bacon is one of them. Disagree. Hard to fuck up bacon unless you're gonna burn it, but that just mm-hmm. depends on. How I like people like your prepared, I like my right? bacon crispy. I just so, don't get right, but look, it's hard to fuck it up. Hard to oh, fuck it up. We're undercooked. It was really undercooked. It's just really stretchy. It still tastes like bacon, which That's is really good. True. So hard to fuck up bacon. For me, and I mean, look, obviously, guys, when I say hard to fuck up, you can fuck up anything. That's why I said hard, hard to, to fuck, fuck up. Hard to fuck up eggs. Hard to fuck these things up, right? Yo, this bacon. I don't know which part of the pig this bacon came from, but it was the fishy part. I, it, it tasted so bad. I couldn't believe it. Not only that, yo, I judge, I'm going to tell you right now, establishments, ready for this? If you serve me anything in a styrofoam cup, you're a cheap fuck. Yeah. I, and this place served styrofoam cup and a coffee. And I was like, nah. Yo, we, it, yo, listen. Everybody, don't drink out of styrofoam. That's just not good for you. That too. You know when it snap, crackle, pops when you drink? Like, that's that shit coming off in your drink. Don't drink that shit. Yo, but the styrofoam it's cup hot stuff. with the fish bacon? Wait. Right down the street. You know what I think it was? I think they store fish and bacon at the same place. And so the fish smell overtook the bacon. That's... That's what I think happens. Yeah, but if you freeze it, is bacon... Okay. So pick one thing to add to any food. What is the best thing that makes most food better? Bacon. I have three... I have three that I'm going to throw up there for you, okay? Bacon is one. Definitely bacon. I just don't even... Cheese. Oh, okay. Okay. Bacon... I think bacon and cheese might be the two. Because I'm not going to say sugar because I don't, I don't, I'm not a sweet dude. No. Bacon. Okay, let's just, I'm going to, just for shits and giggles, okay? Burger. If you had to choose forever on your burger, bacon or cheese, but not both, which one? Cheese. Woo, you say that like it's a no brainer. Not even close. You telling me a hamburger? Fuck you. Yeah, are you telling me right now? Fuck you. Forever. Fuck you. You can say cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Over bacon? Fuck a hamburger. Okay. Fuck a hamburger. Okay. Oh my god. That's not that's not even a fucking question. Because you're Oh, I know the third topping also that makes food better. Avocado. Okay, but that's not you think it's in the ballpark with cheese and bacon? No no no, but when you think of bacon when you think of a burger and I have cheese and bacon on it, I think I'll go. I'm back. also thinking like that's just exactly like, how wrong you are about picking cheese over bacon. No no I'm picking you're saying on a burger. I'm saying if for the rest of your life 
cheese on your burgers. Cheese. You can either have cheese or, or bacon, bacon, but not both. Cheese. Hands down. Yo, I go bacon. You know, I go extra pickle, and I go fucking ready so for this. Relish with my pickle. I oh. go mayonnaise, mustard, onion, and ketchup. Bacon. Throw me some pickles, and I'm fucking. Did you put lettuce or tomato? Lettuce, tomato. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that whole that was awful to see the burger. What? Oh my god! First of all, I'm just not a mustard guy. I think mustard's just fucking awful, and so I don't think mustard should ever be near a burger, um, ever. Riley would disagree with me. His mustard name, with ketchup is fucking mm-hmm. mustard anytime. Mustard with ketchup and mayo. I'll get you with the ketchup and mayo. I'll meet you there. Yeah, that's almost that's almost with the relish. That's like a Big Mac sauce. Fuck the relish on a burger. I'm not putting relish on a burger. Relish on a hot dog, not relish on a burger. Do you put pickles on a burger? No. I take my pickles off my burger. You know why? Because if I bite... Really don't know what's good. Because when I bite into a burger and I bite a pickle, all I taste is pickle. I don't taste anything else. Fuck that. Pickle with the burger and the bacon? <sighs> Fuck pickles on burgers. Okay. Oh, also, actually, you know what? I have, a, I have an unfortunate thing. I'm going to need an answer here. I hate, sli- I, I hate sliced pickles. I like full pickles. Just put it on. It tastes the same. No, they don't. They definitely don't. They 100% don't. And one is just more than the other. One, not the same. It's not the same. If I put a sliced pickle right now in front of you and a full pickle, they would not taste the same. If I no nope. full pickle no, no. and I cut a slice, it would taste like that pickle. No, that's not what I said. That's not. But what you're I said. talking about two different pickles. You're taking a full pickle and cutting it. That's... That's a sliced pickle. That's not, no. Yeah, yeah, okay. That is a sliced pickle, but that's not what I'm talking about. You're telling me the pickles that they put on burgers, are they slice a pickle? No, they come pre-sliced. Yeah, dude, but... Not the same. But they were a full pickle still, beforehand. Still not the same. They could have been different pickles. You're telling me all of those are That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're, telling me, well, okay, you're telling me every sliced pickle in that jar are, are from the exact same pickles? Yeah, they're not mixed no. pickles in the sliced pickle jar. <laughs> Bro. It comes from a dill pickle. They right, slice that shit. You're tell me they don't mass slice a bunch of it and then just pack yeah, it up. from the same kind of pickle. But it's not the same exact pickle. Every One pickle. pickle could be older than the other pickle. Every pickle. <laughs> Uh, that was funny. Every no, pickle so that comes out of that jar comes from the same pickles. The same type of pickle, not yeah. the same exact pickle. What do you even say? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So you're wrong on that. I'm definitely not. Pickles okay. on burgers are just... You're wrong uh, on that. I'll take a pickle. I'll take pickles on a Reuben. Okay. But let's go back to some of the things that share bacon and cheese. Okay. So if you had... A breakfast burrito, bacon and cheese, still would take out bacon and put it in sausage. If you had a breakfast burrito, are you putting bacon in there or cheese? Cheese. Put sausage in instead. <sighs> but you can't. It, oh, this is not... It's meat. Meat. It's the bacon or the cheese. Okay, so you're telling me a breakfast burrito. It's either choosing cheese or bacon. Che- would you rather have a cheese and egg burrito or an egg and bacon burrito? I can't choose to put it... Oh, oh. Oh, it, we're choosing one or the other. Cheese in it. Like if I had two in front of me right now, yeah, cheese in it. Can I tell you, I, I, I actually agree with you that. You just the egg with the cheese is pretty special. The egg without the cheese is just too bland. No, not with bacon. Actually, I'm going back to bacon, dude. No, I'm sorry. No, you're no. You all tell me. You, you're listening. And look, this is not a date on bacon. I love bacon. He knows I love bacon. I cook bacon for us all the time. Yeah. I used to do it all the time over yeah. COVID. Like, I love bacon. And there's nothing against it. But if I had to pick something on my burger for the rest of my life and it was either cheese or bacon, it's cheese. Have do I you ever, want to ask mom this question? Have I ever asked you this, dude? If you had to pick one style of food... Mexican. Me too. I would have done that before. One style of food for the rest of your life, breakfast, lunch, and dinner... Is not Mexico. one style, but one uh, country yeah. or one Mexican. I do you want to so. ask mom the question that you just asked me? I know her answer. Well, I actually know. I know you her know answer, my too. answer, I know your answer, too. It's his answer. If what? you, for the rest of your life, could only either have cheese on a burger or bacon, which one would you choose? But you can't have both. I'm going cheese. Oh! Yeah. Oh, I was guessing bacon for her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did she know that? I go, you're cheese, yeah. yeah. I'm cheese, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm cheese. cheese, too. Bacon Hold all on. day. Bacon, I throw some avocado, some mayo, some pickles, some mustard, you're some already, ketchup. You, no, you already went over your satanic burger. 
What? But, but it's the and best burger tie, of all time. If that's the one food I have to have for the rest of my life. You're going to tie? Over Mexican, yeah. <laughs> How's that a bad one though? Like rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Like they still have a lot of eggs in that? Like 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 a fried rice nah, for breakfast? Dude. You're not gonna be scrambled eggs with some refried beans and or like a fucking yeah. or like tortilla. a tea. Or like a chili killies in the morning. Oh, like oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's yeah. not good. even close. Well, breakfast tacos are shit breakfast burrito. We're just talking about that. Like that's, yeah. Dude, you know what's funny is that when we were shooting Tussle, Family Tussle, yeah. when we were shooting that, I had the fucking best cheesy egg bacon burrito. Yeah, the burritos that he called them were really good. Yo, those were so good. But, but let's speak of family Tesla, by the way, guys. Let me just say this. It's the best thing that I've ever done. I've I'm done so I've done a lot of really fun things. This is the best, not just creatively the best thing. I've ever done, but it, it was, look, man, when that show wrapped, I was on such a high. I was also the most tired I think I've ever been after any shoot. Of you anything. worked really hard, dude. Like, we were so tired after that. You know, we, we, I mean, look, you pulled a muscle. Many. Many. It was a physically grueling... Especially that last day, man. That last day was that last day? long, bro. Yeah, it was a physically grueling shoot. And as a dude who is a little bit older, you know what I found out? That sh- Guys, so one of the challenges was we sparred. Like the fight, you know? And my theory going in was because I thought I was in much better shape than him. And like on paper, I am. 100%. On paper, 100%. I'll tell you something right now. But what I found out real quick is that an in shape 52 year old is still no match for an out of shape 25 year old. By the way, also, I'm not crazy out of shape. I'm not in amazing shape, but I'm not completely out of shape. You're in a shape. Yeah, I can still outrun you on a treadmill. 100%. 100%. There's no, well, I, I, the cardio for me, like, I, like, I went out, you know, I go out and play basketball for four hours. I was blown away. But guys, let me just tell you, because I've, I've talked about this, the two punishments that I'm letting the cat out of the bag a little bit. One, which ones? I got a tattoo. Oh, yeah. Uh, should we show it? No, 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 no. no. Save that. No. So they do not, not. They don't get to see that for free right now. I get like a tattoo. Patreon, like we're going to pay for it. Like, no. No, I mean, we're, we're not, not going to Patreon any of that shit. Right. We're gonna, no, 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 I'm saying like before the show comes out. Like, yeah. No, I'm not. We're not. We're not spoiling that until the show comes out. You know, it is a straight up. Guys. You made, he made me get a tattoo. Good tattoo. But the tattoo may not be the worst thing that you made me do. No. What? I think in the long run, the tattoo is the worst thing I made you do. I think in the span of five days, it is not the worst thing I made you do. No. But, in the, guys, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. And I can't wait to shoot season two. So, we'll, we'll definitely, September 15th is when it's going to premiere. Yeah. And um, I'm going to put a video up to premiere so you guys will get all the reminders. Um, and then Jakey and I will be on that stream every, live. I, and well, are we doing? What are we doing an episode a week, or are we doing? Yeah, we'll do one a week. So we'll be there every week. At least I will. A hundred percent be there every week. Oh, me too, dude. Okay, me too. Now listen, you. I have to ask. You've been to Disney the last two days. Yeah. Good lord. I've got a couple questions for you. First of all, how great? What is the humidity doing to your hair right now? You know, it's actually it's not bad. No, it hasn't been that bad. But you want to know why it hasn't been that bad? Because I've been sweating so much. So there's moisture in my hair. It's keeping my hair down. Because I'm just... Oh, also, you got to shower the, day, the night before. The, sh- the shower is what's helping me. Is it damp out there? And let me ask you another question. No, no, it's damp's the right word. It's, it's you wearing like, shorts or pants? Uh, you're looking at the outfit I wore to Disney today. Well, are, is anybody wearing pants? Because you know I don't own shorts. Well, yeah, of course people are wearing pants. Can I wear these pants? <laughs> Look, you're, you're in Florida, not going to lie. You might not be the only Yo, person with shit on your pants at Disneyland. I, I won't be, for sure. I like, will not be the only person. You will not be the only person at Disneyland with shit on their And I, I'm going to go one other step. I won't be the older person at Disney World with, uh, with shit on their pants. Absolutely not. No, I or, think, or the youngest. Or the youngest. Yeah, I'll be right in the middle. Somewhere. I think I'll be a, like a median age. You might be a little higher than the medium. But there's, there's going to be a couple of dudes older than me who've got a little shitty on their pity. 
You know what I mean? Shitty on that pity. I don't know. Shitty on that pity sounds dirty. I was just trying it's to... not. I was trying to rhyme, and that's all I could come up with. Nah. Let, dude, yeah. are, are you telling me that you don't think my rhymes are fresh? No, because your rhyme, the rhyme is fine, but, like, you have to... It has to make sense. Do you want me to freestyle a rap right now about you at Disney World? No. I okay, I will. Because, see, here's the thing. Had I said yes, he would have still done it. Yeah, oh, So I gave him my true answer, which was I absolutely <laughs> do not fucking want him to do a freestyle rap about me at Disney. But I knew he was going to say yes anyway, so what's the point? Are you going to give me a beat? No. You're not going to give me a beat? Not a chance. I didn't even want this in the first place. You were going to make me go a cappella? Yeah. Fella? It's going to smell up a hell of bad. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I nailed it! I nailed it! I went fella, a cappella, smell a hella. Come on, you tell me I don't have flow? Listen, Joe, this is how it go. You done yet? No. Uh, yeah. That's all I can go on. <laughs> <laughs> I just said mo. Yeah. I just said no mo. <laughs> oh, yeah. no mo. Like no mo. How are you not watching, by the way, the captain on ESPN? I just haven't gotten around to it. Yo. The Captain is a is a docu series. What's the Captain and the Last Dance? Because Last Dance is what started these kind of thirty thirties. It's not a thirty thirty; it's a ten episode series. But like the last, know. okay. So I haven't seen Brady's, which I want. I also have not seen Brady's. Um, because I want to do that all in one sitting. You but I, I did. Yeah, I watched Last Dance, which I thought was fantastic. fantastic. Yo, the Captain is outstanding. I mean, I would assume it's not Derek Jeter. I mean, like, we're, look, we're Sox fans. You know what I mean? So he's the only, can I be honest, we said this the other day, he's the only acceptable Yankee. Like, I, I got to go out of you, there's a couple dudes off of that era that I liked. In, all like, in that, in that, in that era? Yeah. Can I guess? guess? You can guess. Yeah, you can guess. <sighs> there's four. There's four of them? Yeah. Is Bernie one of them? Yep. Number 51? Yep. Yeah, I like him, Williams. Um, Ber- so it's Bernie, it's Jeter. I fucking hated Jorge Posada, so I know you like Jorge. Posada. You like Jorge? I hate that guy. I like um, the core four. I like Mariano. I like Jorge. No, okay. Yeah. I, 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 look, I didn't like them. Like, I didn't root for them. But it's respect. But I, 100%. I love the way they play the game. I love the way they approached everything. I love their team first. I love that they weren't these, and they could have been just these dudes. These mm-hmm. braggadocious dudes. They just went about their business, man. And I really liked it. One of the reasons that that team was harder to hate is they didn't have these huge stars. They had just a team, a group. If you think about the Hall of Famers off that team. Pettit. But, here, but here's the deal, dude. Mo, yeah, Mo. A, a, a Pettit. Pettit, definitely, right? Um, Pettit, Mo, Jeter. Pettit, Mo. You like Pettit? Mo Jeter. I, I don't not like Posada and Bernie. Is Posada the whole thing? I, I don't think Posada will ever get. I don't think Posada gets all. That's a great question. Posada's got rings, but I just don't think Posada has. He's, I don't know what his final numbers are. Here's the thing for me for the Hall of Fame in general with sports. In general with sports, okay? Yeah. In general with sports, here's what I think the problem is. I think the Hall of Fames are too lax. I think. I don't it, think the baseball fame, the Hall of Fame is lax. At all. I think they're letting people in that don't. Yo, to me, you, like, okay, here's a good example. When they're talking about Matt Stafford, is he a Hall of Famer? Look at his stats, dude. His stats are crazy. I mean, you put, I, I mean, I, and he's not close to done. Okay? I mean, I'm, I'm and probably, I'm Super Bowl, I'm probably Super Bowl. putting Matt Stafford okay. in, in the Hall of Famer. Here's my problem with that shit. In order for me to say you're a Hall of Famer in any sport, you have to be considered top five. In the league at the time that you play. For at least a little while. At least at your position. He's never been top five. Dude, never. No, he's he a man. By the way, wasn't even top five the year he won the Super Bowl. Yo, he might not have been top five in his conference every year. Okay? Huh. So, he's put up a lot of numbers, but he played in Detroit where he was behind all of the time. He but was, still, he, but, that's, but that's what people are arguing. You're, still, you're in Detroit and you put up, you're still putting up... Those numbers, but he because he threw have, all the time. He had Calvin Johnson. Yeah, he just threw it to Megatron. And, and, and my thing is this, man. Look, I'm not. I'm not saying he's not a Hall of Fame talent. But like, what's the line for Hall of Fame? Put Aaron Donald in the Hall of Fame right now, dude. Uh, he's the best to ever play his position. 
That's why when people say like, um, so there was a guy who went into the Hall of Fame this year, a guy named Tony Baselli. I don't know if I know that name. Offensive tackle, the only Jaguar ever in the Oh, Hall of yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, man, I think he only played seven or eight years. Wow. But his injury was severe. And he okay. couldn't get... But during, he was the best. There's no... Just because he got hurt, he didn't have longevity. But when you look back at that time, you're like, oh, he was, if not the best, the second best at his position and dominated people. The entire time that he played. Hall of Famer. Yo, yo Terrell Davis, who ran... He was injured. His 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 uh, career got cut short. Yep. But this dude led the, the Broncos to two Super Bowls. Mm-hmm. Hall of Famer, Sandy Koufax, short career, Hall of Famer, because he was the fuck. No argument, the best. No okay? argument about Koufax. So, like for me, the Hall of Fame is such a interesting thing. Look, man, you can say what you want about Poppy. At his position, he was the best. Still is. He was, a, he was the best for years. And even not out of his position, if you just said straight up hitter, there were four or five years where he was top five. Easy, correct? 100%. So, like, he was top five in 2013 when he hit 700 in the playoffs. Dude, the year he retired, he had over 200 hits, didn't he? Or some shit like that. He did crazy. In his final year, he hit 600. Or 500? In the playoffs? No, I guess the Rays. No, I guess the final year. It's finally the final season to get this five, five or six hundred home run. But it, still, just plow it. Point being, like you, you got you got it. Pools will Pools is all of Pools is, if not the best right-handed hitter of all time, he's top five. He's top three. He could it very well do. He's top three, and it might not be three or two. You look like, at Willie Mays. You're looking at Hank Aaron. You're looking at. He's played in different times. Pujols, though. You're looking at uh, Manny. You're looking at uh, if you like A Rod. Did you ask me if I just like A Rod? Dude, this I'm, pretty dude. Sure. I'm pretty sure we all know the answer to the question of if we like A Rod. We just went over the how the fuck? Respect. How the fuck? It's like people forgot how much of a douchebag he was. How the fuck? He's because got, he puts on this fucking TV personality now. He hangs out with Poppy all the time. People like Poppy. God, I'm telling you that's what it is. He put himself next to one of the most likable people on this planet, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to get people to like me now. He had a, pic- a painting of himself as a centaur in his bedroom. Fucking With those... You know what I do like about him? He is not shy about his bitch tits. And I, I, this is coming from somebody who, when I stop working out, I'm going to have some titties. Uh, these are going to be titties. Probably. It's not a probably, dude. They're pecs now. And they're gonna be titties because they're the only thing that's kind of helping them up, helping them up is these muscles. And when those muscles, muscles stop, dude, it's gonna be the the itty bitty titty committee. But it's not gonna be itty bitty. It's gonna be Walter Mitty titty committee. <laughs> you know what I mean, Smitty? No, it's Liddy. Dude, I am the fucking flow king. Just because you're rhyming word after word doesn't mean it's a flow. That's what a rap is, rhyming word after word. Give me a word. Give me any word. No, it's not rhyming word after word. It's rhyming the last word. It's creating a K that's like A, B, A, B. It's a rhyme scheme. Okay, give me, give me two words. No, no. That's not like, what? God, what? No, no, and what? Okay. No, that's not how this works. Why not? Because you don't rhyme word after word. You have to go a whole sentence... How it ends, right? And you have to run that round. So okay. Not the Ready? second. No, no. What? Did you say that poop came out of your butt? What? Is that in your suitcase? Is that make the flight to Orlando? That was a bad one. I didn't. That was there was no rhyme in that one. I know. But I need a beat. That's why. Is that you think that's what your problem is? One of them. Okay. I think there's quite a few more that we should address first. Are you, dude? You told me you got recognized at Disney yesterday. I did get recognized at Disney yesterday. It didn't feel? happen today, but it did happen yesterday. How's that feel? It was cool. Shout out to the guy. I never asked your name. I'm sorry I didn't grab your name, but if you if you see this and or watch this, hello, yeah. you, sir. And, I, your, and, your, and your girlfriend. It was very nice meeting you guys. You know what, by the way? I want to ask your opinion on this. Mm. You know, I'm all, I'm, I'm, I am I'm like to respond to people online. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm big on that. But I also... Don't mind clapping back at people. It's kind of fun for me. Oh, I've there are some. It's, it's more like a pick your battle for me now. Yeah, 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 like yeah. I, I, there are some where I'm just like, Ugh, it's not even worth it. Or if like people from like, that's what I was gonna ask. Like, where people, are you at with that? 
Oh, it's, and it's still because it's I think none, none of it ever gets under my skin. No, there are just some days where I can think of something fast. Like, look, and truthfully, if I can think of something fast enough, I usually clap back. But if I don't think of something fast enough, I usually just leave. can I can I offer you this one? I want to offer it up to you. If it bothers you, do not respond. Oh, no, 100%. Don't, that, don't, I just because your your emotion will get involved and you're back and forth. Yeah. If it's something that truly doesn't bother you and you like, like for me, I like knowing that I'm going to say something back and it's, you know, I'm the youngest of four boys. Yeah. So just to know that I can bother somebody yeah. is entertaining for me. Agreed. You know? Yep. But I just want to make sure that you're not letting that stuff get under your skin at all. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. And just pick and choose the fights. Sometimes it's fun to clap back. Like if I can think of something fast enough. But... Most of the time, I also just don't put enough effort into it. So I just delete it. Yeah, I think that's a, the smart way to go. Yeah. Now, I got a couple more questions for you, and then I am, then we got to go, because we got to get ready for a show. Oof. And I got to wash my jeans. <laughs> Yo, I'm... It's, hey, oh, shitty! I'm just going to scream that at you. We're upstairs. Can I tell you something? Mom, while well, we're going to be in the back, I'm just, while you're telling us to I'm going to be like, hey, oh, shitty! Can I tell you something? <laughs> I... Generally, would not check the back of my pants. I would. That would have been the first place I checked. Especially well, if I smelled shit. Well, I don't. It didn't. Obviously, it didn't smell oh, like right. shit. Didn't, well, yeah, you didn't smell shit for like two days. Yo, I wore them on the plane, bro. You wore those pants on the plane? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. How did you not smell anything? It doesn't. It didn't smell. Nobody next to you said anything, or did I didn't even flinch at all? It, here's the problem. It did. Now look, somebody. I may be the. Look, you know how planes go. Somebody might be telling a story right now. I sat next to this dude who smelled like shit the entire... There, that conversation... Could be happening all right now yeah. somewhere. Now, and I, God, I fucking hope it is. Lucky for me, I, I had the mask on. That's why you didn't smell it. I fly... Dude, I'm going to fly mask from here to eternity for so many reasons. One, when you have a mask on... You know how much I like to talk to people on planes? Zero. So when you have the mask on and headphones, don't be sucked. Second of all, I um, I didn't get the flu over these last. I haven't been sick in two and a half years. So there's something about not getting the flu where I was like, okay, I love it. And lastly, honestly, and you can yuck it up all you want, but I know there's only like eight thousand cases, but. Fuck monkeypox. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. If no. you told me right now, would you rather get COVID or monkeypox? COVID. Without it. Not even close. So, but I also have questions like, if I've had chickenpox before, am I still like vulnerable? Fuck. Yeah. But it's like chickenpox where you get it once you can't get it again. That I don't know. That's what I've been hearing. But I know that it's those hard. chickenpox are not nearly as large as them monkeypox. No. And they can be anywhere. Yo, dude, they're like... And they're not pretty. I think I would, honestly... I think I'd rather die. I know. <laughs> but I think I would get a prescription for something that makes me sleep for 10 days. Like, Xanax? I might go straight Xanax for 10 days. It, and just, like, I would, monkey pot. Xana perk. But I'm just fucking... Perk days just I'm not planning on getting the pox. No, me either. And hey, you fucks... Polio's coming back. Vaccinate your fucking kid from yeah, polio. It's in fucking New York. What, what are we doing? doing? Yeah, polio? How is that possible? What the shit? Guys, this is fucking kidding me right now. Dude. Polio's back? I mean, what's next? The Black Plague? Vaccinate your fucking kids. From polio, you dumb fucks. Ah, oh, dude. Um, I feel like... I feel like we shouldn't even have to fucking say that. I, know. Well, I actually, you know what? But I know, well, I'm like... And, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take something back. Up to you, your kid. But if you want, you don't want your kid to get polio, get vaccinated. Because I know I'm not gonna get it. I'm. I know I don't gotta worry about polio. So I know people in my family are safe. I yeah. hope the people in your parent. Let me just say that. The last look, there was a guy whose dad, when I grew up with, he had a limp, and because he was like the last one of the last cases of polio in his area. But this dude was a grown man who just didn't walk right. Like, did the whole leg swing. And I don't... You're going to ask me right now, what does polio do? No idea. I, I think it's a neurological... Yeah. ...base yeah. disease. But 
Um, but I don't know exactly yeah. what it does. And, I, and, I, and again, I'm not somebody. I'm not somebody who tells other people how to live. I'm really not. No. And so like, but just can only give you one man's opinion, which is take your leave. Yeah. Which is that's nature of fucking kid. Yeah. All right. Which is the opinion. Now listen, everybody. Family Tells is coming out September 15th on the YouTube channel. On the YouTube. ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. So you can see... Why you look so large? Oh, I sat up again because I wanted to be tall than you. Damn. This is not what we're looking for standing it's up. It's like Andre the Giant and his wrestling partner. This it is. This is what we're standing up, though. I know. Like, this is, this is about the same height when we stand up, so... So, okay. On my YouTube channel. Family Tells. Yeah. Uh, ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. Josh Wolf Comedy across for which which? For socials. For what? For socials. Yo, I'm so close to a million on TikTok. So close. Light it up. Come find me over there. And um, if you guys, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, please turn those notifications on so I can tell you when everything's coming. Um, You're going to want to know when everything's coming. Download, rate, subscribe to this podcast. We're back, everybody. Oh, we pee pewing? Pew, 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 pew. Jacob Wolf, what do you want to tell? Jacob is for Wolf on Instagram. Uh, it's Jacob Wolf on TikTok. Um, you know, same thing he said. Make sure you go to the YouTube channel, hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that noty button so you know when we drop everything. But obviously, stay tuned on our socials. We're going to be very active and posting. And hopefully, uh, yo, September 15th is right around the fucking corner. Get ready. It's going to yeah. be it's gonna be fucking awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm gonna to try to get us on some fun shows. Fuck yeah. I should get on that right now. Yeah. Tell somebody you love them. We'll see you next time. Later, everybody. Press stop. 24 day, I'm living, living just to make it to another 24. Another 24. Whatever stress, I got me constantly smoking. I'm getting high just to balance out the lows. And they always tell me that I should be living better. And they're running, suppose. But you know how the story goes. Another day, another dollar, holler. 7 p.m. once again, I'm breaking up the bug. Time to 45 or 9 now, but crowd